A Destiny hacker logged into their account and began deleting their characters and everything in their vault one by one. Or at least that's the story that's being told in a now viral Reddit post. Let's jump right into this story because this is an extremely spicy one and it has a crazy plot twist at the end. The post reads, this all started yesterday morning. I noticed my Titan was deleted, but I chalked it up to server errors. Now, to be fair, right off the bat, I'm feeling a little bit of doubt here. I don't know about you or me, but if I log into Destiny 2 and one of of my characters is missing, I'm not just going to chalk it up to Destiny server errors. I'm going to make as big a stink as I possibly can, and I'm certainly not going to be continuing to play Destiny 2 until that gets fixed. But I digress. Let's jump back into the story. They then said, but then my warlock was deleted, and I was sure there was someone on my account. They proceeded to delete my last character and then started deleting my vault before stopping. So a hacker has gotten into their account. They started deleting their characters and deleting everything in their vault just before stopping. So what does this person do? They they changed every password imaginable, logged out of all devices, to the point in which they thought they were safe. They then said, I was bummed. My friends encouraged me to play more and we did Crota's End. We went to sleep and I thought this was over and I was determined to get back to where my 5,000 plus hours account was. However, when I returned home today, I saw there was new activity. What more could this hacker do at this point in time, right? They already deleted all of your characters and everything in your vault. Are they really gonna be so petty to log back into your account again and delete the new character that you just created earlier today that's exactly what they did according to this story they made a warlock and then proceeded to do a bunch of activities on my characters and finished deleting my vault this one is the biggest plot twist right here of the century the hacker logs into your account makes a warlock and then does a bunch of activities what kind of strange hacker behavior is this this is like burning someone's house down and then in the middle of the house being completely on fire you put the fire out sit on their couch watch a show after it's done you get up leave and light the house on fire again this is just unheard of this is just so strange you're telling me that the hacker got into your account and then started running patrols started running raids the only incentive i could see here is that if the hacker actually did get into your account and run these activities it was because they were probably running around using cheats and so basically they wanted to use cheats on your account in order to get you banned that's the only sort of motive i could see from any of this but anyways they create this warlock they do a bunch of activities on their characters and then they finish deleting the vault so then they say yes it it was my fault for not having my account secure enough, but I'll be damned before these guys get ownership of my account. So now what they're claiming is that the hackers are trying to get ownership of their account in some way. This is the point where they step over the boundaries a little too far. And the reason why their post actually got deleted off r slash destiny 2 was because they actually name two of the guardians that this hacker played with, which created a witch hunt and that breaks Reddit's policies. So similarly to comply with Reddit and Bungie's policies of witch hunting, I'm not going to name these two guardians, but keep in mind it has been confirmed that these guardians were LFG gamers. So even though they were playing with said hacker slash potential cheater, it wasn't their fault. They didn't know what was going on at all. This individual names two guardians, gives their exact bungee names with the numbers and everything, and says that they have been in most activities with this person, the hacker. So they're almost certainly in cohorts with them. Please, anyone from Bungie, help me at least get these guys banned, please. Wow, now that is a lot to unpack there. I can understand this person's frustration with the hacker, with the cheater, but the fact that they created a witch hunt chasing after these two guys is pretty wild. Clearly, they just thought that they were friends with the hacker slash cheater and wanted them to get banned because obviously the hacker and cheater, we don't know their bungee name, but it definitely backfired on them because the top post reads, you can repost this if you want, if you have any extra information to provide, but it seems as though the two people who play with the account are innocent LFG, so don't blame nor make light of them if you make a second post. The Reddit guardians sharpened their pitchforks and lit their torches and went after those two individuals. Only for for those two guys to be like, hey, we're innocent. We, we're just on LFG. This whole entire situation does seem really strange to me. And I definitely feel like there's more to the story that we're not quite figuring out. Some potential options and things to think about with a situation like this is, did this individual pay for account recoveries? Is that how someone has access to their account, knowing their email, their password and everything? Even if you don't have two-factor authentication on your account, which you should, by the way, make sure you have that on. But even if you didn't have that on, someone still has to guess your password. And not only do they have to guess your password, they also have to have some sort of familiarity with Destiny, right? Like if no one's ever played Destiny before, they're not gonna know how to delete your characters or understand what's going to actually hurt your account. And secondly, what exactly did they do to make this individual so mad? Like this is some real next level vengeance right now. This person hacked into their account, deleted all of their characters, then proceeded to delete every item from their vault 
vault. Then, if that wasn't enough, they log in the next day, create a new character, run around using cheats presumably, to then get that account banned? Like, this is the most vindictive hacker ever, if this is the case. If this story is true, this is easily the most vindictive hacker I have ever heard of. But alternatively, if the story's not true, the implications are actually pretty scary. We don't exactly know who's in ownership of any of these accounts. Maybe it's not actually their account in the first place. Maybe they're just pretending this account is theirs in an effort to get the account recovered for them so that they can get ownership of an account that they don't rightfully have. I definitely hope that's not the case, but one thing that is for certain is that if something like this ever happens to you, make sure to make your Reddit posts not in frustration or in anger. Definitely don't try to attack other people or get other people banned. I imagine if someone ever had something like this happen to them, the likelihood of them ever getting things restored is like next to zero. But if you actually just posted your story and you're honest and nice about it and you could actually provide evidence of you getting hacked, there is a small iota of a chance that Bungie might show mercy on you and reinstate your character, reinstate your account in some way perhaps. But as soon as you start attacking other people and start trying to bring other people down with the hacker and start getting people banned, that's when things look bad for you. So in all honesty, if this person did lose their account, I do feel bad for them. I wish they had handled the situation better, but I also can't entirely blame them just because the fact that if this happened to me, I would be probably equally as frustrated, if not more frustrated, right? So I'm honestly just torn on how to feel about the situation. Let me know what you think down in the comments below though. Do you think that this individual was actually hacked or do you think they're telling a far-fetched story? Will Bungie actually give them a response, potentially reinstate their account? And if this individual wants to tell their story any further, I'll happily do so. I'll get in contact with them and we can do an interview so we can get to the bottom of this crazy story because this is easily the most wild story I've read in quite a while. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on, smash the like button and click on the screen here to watch another one. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.